A raging fire sends people running for their lives. This is video of the chaos near Twain and Swenson, where a neighbor rushed to wake up a mother and her children to get them to, to get them to safety. And tonight they claim that when they tried to sound the fire alarm system, it didn't work. Contact 13 investigative reporter Joe Bartels is live to explain tonight. Joe. Yeah, Tricia, Steve, Clark County firefighters, they race from this station right here near Flamingo and Paradise to that apartment not far from here where there were flames billowing from that apartment. And tonight, some say they're alive because of some alert neighbors and not the fire alarms. Cell phones capture the panic and the chaos as people get an alarming wake up call. I opened up my door and the lady started yelling, there's a fire, there's a fire, it's right above you. And the first thing I did was jump and scream and grab my kids. Jennifer Perkins says neighbors pitched in helping her and her kids to safety moments before the fire exploded in the unit above their heads. Inside the units, we were running around pulling levers. Nothing was, nothing was alarming. Jennifer claims the Siegel Suites fire alarm did not go off off to warn others of the danger. It could have killed a lot of people. Clark County Fire made quick work of the flames, keeping the fire to just one unit. But Jennifer says her apartment suffered major smoke and water damage, and now she's out of her home. They moved this into a new unit. They're offering me free rent for a week or two, um, trying to move me into a bigger unit. Contact 13 called the Siegel Suites corporate office. A spokesperson who refused to give their name would not comment on the fire alarm system. And back out here live tonight, we asked Clark County Fire Department about the potential cause of the fire as well as the status of, as a, of that alarm system. But as of tonight, we have not heard back. Reporting live, Joe Bartels, 13 Action News. All right. Thank